So before we start painting, we need to mask out some of the pure white hard edged shapes, which would be pretty much the snow and any highlights on your bird. I use Pebeo drawing gum. Uh, I just find it a little bit easier to see. Here's my number six pointed round synthetic brush. It's my number six ivory. I'm gonna wanna wet it and then apply a little bit of soap. And the soap just helps to protect the bristles and makes cleaning a little bit easier. So wet your brush, soap your brush, the soap creates a barrier so it protects your bristles from the masking fluid which tends to want to cling and uh, ruin your bristles. So the order really is wet, soap, wipe and then dip. So you can dip into your masking fluid after you've wiped the excess soap off and you want to just take any extra masking fluid off your brush. You don't want to overload your brush. Notice how I'm holding my brush parallel to my paper. So I'm just kind of skimming the surface texture of the paper. Just kind of catching some of that. We want a really nice natural rough texture. So rather than hold it where the tip is pointing down, just lay your brush flat. That will allow you to get um, a slightly rougher result. And you can see how it's just capturing the pockets of the surface texture of the paper. Rinse your brush and now I'm using my ivory fling which is a small synthetic fan brush. Any small synthetic fan brush will do. Of course I wet the bristles, soap the bristles, wipe the bristles and you can use your fingers or a piece of paper towel. It's up to you. Dip into the masking fluid, wipe the excess off. I'm going to want a skinny handle to flick my bristles against and this will give us a little bit of snow splatter. This is optional. You don't have to um, put any snow on your cardinal. It's up to you. <laughs> For any smaller areas or finer areas, you can use a rigger or a liner just to touch up any details and give yourself a little bit more control. Don't forget to wet, soap, wipe, and dip. Again, I'm kind of using a stamping motion here. The masking fluid needs to be 100% dry before you begin your first layer of painting. But before we do so, I want to add a little extra special texture to my masking fluid. So I'm actually going to be rubbing it with my fingertip here. And that sort of peels back that layer and gives me a nice scalloped edge, which will make the snow look a little bit more natural. It also opens up little bubbles so that bits of the green will show through. This is really key, especially if you were unsuccessful with your dry brush application. This will open up the texture and make it look um, a little bit more believable and like that hard, crunchy snow. Because our hard edge snow shapes are safely protected under the masking fluid, we can go ahead and freely paint over top without worrying about losing them. If you want slightly softer edges, you can use tissue to blot out your background before it dries. Here I'm just going ahead and painting some of the greens for the holly and the leaves. Again, painting right over the masking fluid. The background here is still wet so the leaves have a bit of a soft blurry effect. And of course, we can go ahead and finish off the cardinal, add all the colors that we need. The masking fluid is still on and I'm continuing to build up the greens and any harder edged shapes on a dry surface. So because the surface isn't wet, the shapes stay contained. There you can see where the paint resists a little bit. That reveals where the masking fluid is. It always beads up. Because I'm using the Pebeo drawing gum, um, I find it's fairly easy to see the color. It's got a blue-gray color, so it's uh, not like some of the transparent or white colored masking fluid, which is part of the reason why uh, it appeals to me so much. As you can see, I'm just building up a variety of greens. 
Once I painted the cardinal, I can dry it up and we just continue to build layers. Add a layer of color, dry it, add another glaze, dry that. That gives us a lot more control. The full instructional video is available on my Vimeo channel, so you can always tune in to see all of the stages. Here I am removing the masking fluid once I think the painting is pretty much finished. There's always areas to touch up when you remove masking fluid. Maybe you've applied the masking fluid a little bit um, clumsily. Perhaps the lines are thicker than you had hoped. Here I'm reestablishing some shadows in the snow just with a little bit of ultramarine blue. Of course, I don't want to get rid of all of my whites because then the snow will just disappear into the background. So here's the inspiration photo and here's the finished painting. For the full tutorial, be sure to visit my channel, vimeo.com slash on demand slash cheery cardinal. You'll have just under an hour of full instruction taking you through a deeper dive into the explanations behind the techniques, the scope of brushes that we'll be using, the full color list and the recipes needed to complete this painting. Every single layer is described in detail. For the complete list of art tutorials that I have available, visit my website, www.crystalbeshera.com slash shop videos, or you can check out the vimeo.com slash channels slash art tutorials website. Thanks for watching everybody and happy painting as always. See you the next time.